coming up on today's Panther Beat. Where you can get the best treats in town. And J-Bands finds out if aliens are real. Your Panther Beat starts now. What's poppin' O'Fallon? I'm Jordan. And I'm Robert. This is your Panther Beat for Wednesday, December 6th. Do you think aliens are real? Most definitely. What does O'Fallon think, though? What's up, Panther Beat? Today I hit the hallways and I asked people, do they believe if aliens are real or not and why? I think aliens are real because we haven't, like, explored space fully. And I feel like there's no way that we're the only, like, beings in the universe. Yep, I agree. No. Why? Because, like, it's 2023. Like, they would have they would, they would been exposed by now? Yeah, they have been, they have been, they have been seen by now. You're right. And the question is, do you believe aliens are real and why? Uh, yes, because there's, like, so much in the solar system. It's so big that there's got to be more than just us. Do you think aliens are real? Why or why not? You know, I think they are real. Um, it's a pretty big universe out there, so, you know, yeah, they're definitely out there somewhere, and they're definitely watching us. They're going to get our planet eventually, so, yeah. And there you have it, Panthers. Do you think aliens are real? This is Jay Bans reporting to you live with Panther Beat. Aliens may not be real, but sweet Katie Bees can definitely satisfy your sweet tooth. Here's Hanny and Amari with the story. <sighs> Sweet Katie B's is a beloved local coffee shop located on the corner of East 1st Street and South Vine Street. Even OTHS teacher, Miss Paproth, likes Sweet Katie B's. I like Sweet Katie B's because it's local, it has really good quality food, it has like a neat atmosphere, uh, and it's really close to the campus, so it, it makes it easy when I'm at work. Co-owner of Sweet Katie B's, Kate Hendricks, sells quality products. Uh, we use Goshen Coffee. Um, it's from it's roasted locally in Edwardsville. We bake from scratch. We bake our foods from scratch. So, you know, if you come in and get a biscuit, it's a biscuit that we made. Customers line up for a variety of items. Scones are really very popular. Scones and muffins in the mornings, especially, and then cupcakes probably. We have a really good breakfast. Um, we sell a lot of quiche. We have a really, really good chicken chipotle sandwich. It's like a spicy or chicken kind of sandwich. Sweet Katie Bees only opened up 11 years ago. So what inspired this family-owned cafe? For most of my life, I've, I, I, I worked in the corporate world, but um, I always baked for people, and um, it just got to a point where I was sort of ready for a big change. Not only did her love for baking feel this big change, but a lack of gluten-free options in the market. My daughter and my grandson are uh, gluten-free and uh, they have allergies and so we learned how to bake things, you know, that would taste good. Kate expresses how frightening allergies can be. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really scary. You know, even the people at a restaurant might not even know what's in it. So if you're looking for a new cafe to try. It provides a good place that you can meet friends and uh, share laughs and, and have some good quality food and coffee at the same time. Sweet Katie B's welcomes you. Um, Tuesday through Saturday, 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Reporting for Panther Beat, Hannah Thrapp and videographer <coughs> Mari Holmes. Picture retakes for the yearbook are tomorrow at both campuses. If you would like to order pictures, the picture access codes for each campus are located on the OTHS website under clubs and activities slash yearbook. Now let's pass it over to the sports desk. Four. Hey O'Fallon, I'm D-Bird with your Panther Sports. In today's sporting events, co-ed wrestling meets at Collinsville to face the Cahokes. Our bowling team travels to Edwardsville to take on the Tigers. Good luck to all our sports teams. Now over to the birthdays. Hi O'Fallon, I'm Connor with today's birthdays. Happy birthday for December 6th goes out to Khalid Douglas, Mohamed Flaid, Lanaya Ford, Renaya Ford, Alexis Conzi, David Merrill, Drake Mosley, Isabella Ponsaroli, Jonathan Sill, Matthew Ware, and Katoria Wright. And a special happy birthday to Miss Andrew and Miss Thompson. That's all for me. Now back to the news desk. And now for your club news. Sophomore Four Club meets tomorrow during all advisories. Report to IMC Lab 311. Chess Club meets today after school in the Smiley Cafeteria. MLK Club has two upcoming events. Tomorrow is the first OWL event. 
OWL stands for Our Way of Learning. The goal is to encourage students to study together for finals. Stop by the cafeteria tomorrow from 3.15 to 4.30 p.m. Enjoy snacks and prizes. Everyone is welcome. The second event is the annual Kwanzaa celebration and soul food dinner. Join MLK Club this Saturday at 5 p.m. in the Panther Center. Celebrate African American culture with food, fun, and dancing. See Ms. Hubler in room 412 with questions. Hockey Fan Club meets tomorrow after school in the IMC to discuss theme nights in the student section. That is it for today, O'Fallon. For up-to-date news, videos, and more, head over to our Panther Beat YouTube channel.